Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of career mode now today We have a uh, quite a few games. We have one really big scoring game So I'm sure you guys will enjoy that lots of goals to come and as you guys can see the team is actually really nice A lot of high rated players in the team as well as on the on the bench You know, we do have quite a few um, what do you call it? We have quite a few number of young players as you can see Eto was actually red carded for Bolton um, I'm assuming that is Samuel Eto that's playing for uh, Bolton. I'm not too sure of any other Eto's Maybe my game knowledge isn't high enough, but I'm pretty sure Samuel Eto is the only one around. But like I said, I could be wrong, and it could be a regen player, or um, it could be something along those lines. Maybe even a brother, or whatever. You know, it could be anything along those lines. So my apologies if I've got that wrong. Wrong, but if it is Samuel Eto, unfortunately he was out injured for Bolton, and I'm sure that would have made quite a bit of difference because I know Samuel Eto in this game is actually quite godly and can definitely change the tides when uh, you know Bolton are one nil down, for example, like they are right now. But they make a fantastic cross ball um, through onto the nugget of one of the Bolton players and that was actually a really nice goal it was lofted perfectly onto the head of the Bolton player and he actually turns my defense really nicely there unfortunately they weren't able to pick up another goal but you know that was some that was some okay defending a little bit disappointed that he was able to turn so easily and get into so much space unfortunately for Bolton they weren't able to score again we got pretty lucky I don't know what I was you know I, I didn't really I wasn't too convinced on Ter Stegen's position there he seemed to you know be a little bit out of it he seemed to come off his line when he really didn't need to when he should have just stayed in and shut down that sort of uh, near post opportunity that was given to Bolton but Bolton were definitely on the attack and if that goal had got in I would have just shat myself and run a mile because that would have been an incredible goal but Munai in there who actually started this game and he's been starting quite a few has actually been doing a very good job of conducting it and I kind of prefer him to continue at the moment just because he's able to finish the ball and he's able to put it into the back of the net I'm not too sure why, but he just seems to do it a little bit better. Sturridge there with a right foot shot. Of course, his right foot is nowhere near as godly as his left foot. But still, he produced a really nice effort. Unfortunately, that didn't go in. A nice ball to Jovetic. And oh, baby, everyone loves a dirty, sweaty tramp. As that goes in in the 64th minute to make a 2-1. And that was actually really important for me. I believe this is a league game. So three points were something I was chasing after. Bolton, unfortunately, what I personally think they should have done is sent in an early cross and they probably would have been able to get it onto one of the Bolton players heads but unfortunately he went for glory he shot but Ter Stegen made a good save unfortunately Asadi has just come back from injury and now he is straight back into injury with an uh, I believe that's a sprained ankle so I'm imagining he's going to be out for around a month that's the sort of injury time length you look, you look at when it's a, a sprained ankle or something along those lines which a little disappointing but I do have plenty of, uh, plenty of wingers to take a spot Raheem uh, Sterling, Zaha uh, Oxide Chamberlain as well. You know, I've, those three players right there should do a perfectly good job in that sort of right wing or left wing position, whichever one I feel fits them. I'm pretty sure all three of them can actually play either side of the wing. So that's always good to see. But we managed to pick up the three points out of that last game and we went into this game against Aston Villa again in the league. And this is another game I wanted three points out of. I had to make a few changes just to see what the crack was. As you can see, that was my starting lineup. Jovetic and Sturridge actually making for a really nice partnership at the moment. Jovetic has got a beautiful shot on him with his right foot. He is actually really solid with that. He's got some immense dribbling, but for some reason, I still feel as though Sturridge is a better striker. Uh, mainly because I don't know what it is, but he genuinely feels like he dances around defenders. Jovetic there though, answering the critics as he does a nice stop and turn to get past the defender and rockets that one past the keeper. That for me was just a solid solid goal. He makes a really good run there. Unfortunately, there was no one um, on the other end of his little pass, but a great ball played through to Lucas Leiva and unfortunately he wasn't able to put that into the back of the net. I was a little bit disappointed with that because we definitely should have picked up at least one goal if not two. So you know being 1-0 up I was a little bit like come on guys we actually need to get another one just to make sure we have that cushion and they weren't going give to give us that very easily because that 1-0 we tried so hard to make it 2-0 and it took a little while. A great chip ball played from Munai in there through to Sturridge and it was on his left foot. Unfortunately he wasn't able to keep it down and bury it. It does go straight into the keeper's palm but it was a decent effort and it would have made for a beautiful goal had it gone in a great effort there again but those sort of goals those sort of efforts there should really be going in nine out of ten times you know that's that's really really simple football and I was a little bit disappointed to see that but I kind of held on to the ball there because I saw those being a, gr a gr fantastic run being made by Jovetic into that back post and I knew that if I just kept running with it uh, I'll draw a couple defenders and that's exactly what happened which left Jovetic with a bit of space at the back post and I'm not too sure about his heading yet I haven't really messed around 
around with it too much, but by the looks of it, he seems to be doing all right. But Aston Villa were not done. They decided to bring one back through Holman there. Some slightly poor defending. It was more of the case that I managed to let him slip through. And a pretty poor last-ditch tackle there. I definitely felt as though if I just took another step and then slide tackled, it would have gone a little bit better. But some great football play here. Unfortunately, that uh, little cross there wasn't enough to get onto the, our, our own teammate's head. Munay in there, injured with a pulled calf. That's going to be a two-week injury for him. Like I said, though, we have the likes of Coutinho who can step onto the field. He's 83 rated and he's got a lot left in him. So there's no doubt in my mind that I'm comfortable with him being in the starting 11. Jovetic with man of the match. He picked up two goals for himself. And it's actually quite rare that Jovetic gets man of the match over Sturridge. Because Sturridge tends to hog, hog the ball and hog the glory and hog all the goals in the team. So it was nice to see that it was a little bit of change of pace and things were looking good. Jovetic is developing so, so well as a player. He's 89 rated. Like I said, when I signed him up, he was 86 rated. And his growth has literally just been insane. So I can't wait to see what he ends up uh, becoming when it comes up to the next transfer window. And what sort of bids we can expect. Because I'm honestly expecting some big dollar bids uh, for him. And it'll just be interesting to see what sort of teams come after him. You can imagine the usual sort of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich. Um, possibly even Juventus maybe. You know, those sort of teams always seem interested in big rated players like Jovic. I honestly think a lot of uh, uh, teams also be quite interested in Sturridge. He is on 50 odd goals this season so far. I think it's like 55 which is just bananas. But I did say there was going to be a big a big scoring game in this episode. And here it is in the FA Cup in the semi-finals against Bolton. I put out possibly my strongest team that I have. Um, maybe not Sterling in there. Maybe Asaidi would have been um, the better choice. But still, Asaidi was out for, I believe, around a month. So I had to play uh, Sterling ahead. And that's no problem with me. But we played some great football. A great through ball played. And look at the pace of both of those players. Sterling there produces a wonderful pass. The keeper gets his fingertips to it. But that just isn't enough. Again, you Jovetic in the right place at the right time and that really seems to be his motto at the moment he is always at the right place at the right time to do the right thing and he's his finishing ability is unreal so when he does get in those opportunities he is going to score them nine out of ten times but Jovetic they're just holding it up making allowing players to get time for the run Zaha does the nasty we are just seeing so many tramps recently but I guess you know these sort of sweaty antics have to come out when you want to secure the title we're in a really good position at the moment I believe we have sort of eight to 10 points ahead of uh, second place so we are cruising and we only have a few games left as well I think we have something like five or six games left so as long as we keep performing well and we don't let this lead slip then we should be in uh, for another trophy which would just be immense but Jovetic there cuts it back inside and on his right foot that P roller is just overpowered that's his 13 goal across uh, across all competitions you got to remember guys he did just sign in the recent window so that's why he doesn't have nearly as many as Sturridge has some really poor defending there from Bolton. One of the centre-backs actually steps up, leaving Jovetic in rate loads of space. And oh baby, the dip on that ball was just insane. What a fantastic shot. And that's his 14th goal now across all competitions. And that truly was just an insane goal. Really nice. You know, I honestly didn't think it would go in. It looked almost as if he was a little bit off balance, but still it made for a cracking goal. And nice to see that go into the back of the net. Jovetic again on the ball, really just starting to play fantastically well. A beautiful little roulette and Zaha there. That is just, that is wonderful footballing play. Great movement from Jovetic. Passes it through to Zaha. And Zaha actually opened up his body and had a fantastic finish for, especially for a winger like Zaha. He is improving, not as fast as I would have maybe hoped, but he is improving and he's improving nicely. And not to mention, if I just kind of put his rating to the side and don't really think about the fact that he is 77 rated, he is playing immensely. You know, when he gets that opportunity to score, he is taking it so, so often. So that's fantastic to see. But Bolton, you know, they wanted a consolation goal and that consolation goal was gonna come especially I made some really key changes a lot of and you know I want to say sort of new players came on I had the likes of Yesel that came on for Sturridge I think it was and so that was a pretty big change as well and I think I had Alexandro come on for Wisdom so you know there were a few changes that happened and they were necessary just because I want players to be refreshed Jovetic there tries to strike the ball into the back of the net and Via as well playing really really well but Coutinho one of the other substitutes decides to come on and just 
just nod that into the back of the net in the 57th minute. And it ended 6-1. And that is just a battering, a spanking, and a beating for Bolton. What an absolutely crucial victory that was. And really happy just to go away with their three, uh, not the three points, sorry. But um, that means we're in the final of the FA Cup. That could mean another trophy in the bag. That would just be immense. We already won the Super Cup this season. So to bring in another trophy here and possibly even the Premier League, this could be an amazing season for us. I just, as you guys can see, one of the substitutions, sorry, that I made was brought on Alberto Massi for Agar because I really want to see Alberto Massi grow well. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, then leaving a like is very much appreciated. I need to go get some food. I need to get a drink. You guys might be able to tell my voice is starting to get a little bit croaky after the end of this commentary. That's 10 minutes of just straight goodness for you guys. Hope you did all enjoy this episode. Like I said, leave a like if you got horn. No, that's, that's wrong. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.